Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the interweb for all things geeky and cool. On this video, guys, is going to be another Funko review. That's right, we're taking a look at a legend right here, guys. We're looking at the Pop Rocks number 74, Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al has finally come into vinyl figure form, in this case, a Funko Pop. And I've been waiting a long time to, for this guy to come out. I was hoping that Funko would finally get his license and his likeness, and I'm super happy to bring this to you, my audience and subscribers. Of course, if you're not familiar who Weird Al is, he's a guy who does all the parody music that broke into the scene of music back in, let's say, the early to late 80s. Uh, he started on the Dr. Demento show, and this is how he looked back in the day. This is not how you see Weird Al now. He looks completely different than this version that you see here, with a big sort of afro, big curly brown here, and the accordion. He still plays his accordion in all his uh, music. He does a polka-based song in every single album. I've actually seen him live, I think, on three occasions. He's really great to see live. If you've never seen a Weird Al concert, definitely take a look at him in concert. So what we're going to do is do a full breakdown of the Weird Al Pop here, number 74. We're going to look at the packaging as a whole. We're going to look at the paint, the articulation, and conclude a video and final thoughts for you, the viewer. Should you actually purchase the Pop Rocks number 74 Weird Al Yankovic Pop? Stay tuned, guys. We're going to go to a breakdown. All right, guys, we're in our breakdown segment looking at the Funko Pop Rocks number 74 Weird Al Yankovic Pop. And of course, the very first thing we always do is look at the packaging and presentation. This is the older version of Weird Al back when he originally started in music back in the early to mid 80s. This is what this look is basically designed to look like. So let's actually look at the packaging first. You have Pop Rocks over here, part of that series. You have Weird Al, which is his actual signature. You have number 74 in the wave. Of course, you have a window box of Weird Al here. You have a nice picture of him. Pull back a little bit. So you have Weird Al listed on this side. Side. We have him holding his accordion with the Pop Rocks logo saying number 74 and Weird Al. And this side here does say Weird Al Yankovic number 74 with, of course, a picture of his head. And on the back of it is a picture of him here, sort of a, a collage version of him, but basically maybe like an album cover would be a better representation. You have Pop Rocks here, number 74, and you have a picture of him like we normally saw on this side of the packaging. But I think this is a really cool pop. So let's just guy get this guy out of packaging and continue the breakdown. All right, we have the Weird Al Pop number 74 out of packaging. So let's actually take a look at this guy up close and personal. This looks, in my opinion, just like Weird Al. Of course, he has the really curly brown long hair that we've actually seen before in his prime when he actually broke in the music. This is how his hair basically looked. It was very, very curly and wild and all over the place. He did have glasses, as you can see here. He does sport glasses. This is how Weird Al looked back in the early to mid 80s. Um, he since has changed his entire look. If you actually see Weird Al, what he looks like now, he doesn't look anything close to what you see here. And that's okay, because this is what I remember Weird Weird Al looking like back in the day. You notice he's holding an accordion. This is what he actually plays on almost every single album. Some type of mixture of a lot of different songs and a polka based sort of medley where he basically takes different songs that are popular and merges them all together for one long song. And he plays his accordion when he does that. So of course he has his nice glasses as I mentioned. He has the accordion. If we spin him around here, he does have a Hawaiian shirt on. That's one thing that was a sort of gimmick he had. He always had like this pineapple shirt on or a Hawaiian shirt on. On. He always had this sort of type of shirt or dress that you normally see him in. He has his blue jeans and he has sort of like, like looks like maybe like Converse based uh, shoes. They're white with sort of black little squares on them. I don't know if you can see them right here. I'll kind of focus a little bit so you can see what they look like. So you have like this, little, this sort of effect here. He has like these uh, black squares and there's white on the sides with more black on it. So this basically is the look for Weird Al. And of course you can't go wrong with his mustache here. He always looked like this. So in my opinion, I think this is definitely the predominant version of what Weird Al looks like. The bad version or the fat version of him is the FYE exclusive. He doesn't look like this. He looks a little bit different. He's in a really like an action pose. I want to get that guy as well, but unfortunately at this time, as far as the recording goes in the middle of May, the FYEs don't have the fat version of Weird Al in stock. I'm definitely going to get him and do a review for him. So I think this is definitely a buy my honest opinion. And with that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. All right, guys, final thoughts on Pop Rocks number 74, Weird Al Yankovic Pop. Definitely, this is a buy, in my honest opinion. This looks just like Weird Al did back in the early to late 80s. He's wearing, of course, his Hawaiian shirt, and he has his accordion, which he's known to play in all his albums, like I said at the beginning of the video. This is definitely a really cool pop. The, fur, the fuzzy hair that he's always known for back in late, to said the late 80s, uh, the, the beginning of 80s, the mid 80s, this is what he was really known for, this look that you see him here. And I definitely think this is a buy, in my opinion. 
As far as the fat album version of him, which is him in the black sort of Michael Jackson attire, I'm still waiting to get my hands on that particular pop. I'm definitely going to pick it up and definitely do a review for it. But this guy here, the common version of Weird Al, definitely is a buy in my honest opinion. Especially if you're a Weird Al fan, if you liked his music, definitely pick this guy up. Now, if you're actually a fan of him, I would get both pops. I'd buy this one and the FYE version of him in the in the bad outfit or the fat outfit that's it that he was known for but definitely pick up this pop I highly highly recommend it and with that being said definitely click that like button always click subscribe with a picture of my face when you click that subscribe button click the bell icon to be notified of my latest videos and of course last but not least you can click windows over here to watch more of my videos take care guys I'll see you next video and bye bye